Hello and welcome to a short tutorial on how to solve what we might call a backwards histogram question. This is where we're not creating the histogram, we're actually given the histogram at the beginning of the question and asked to uh, extract from it data to answer the questions that are there. Okay, so we're given the histogram. This is all assessing your real understanding of what the histogram is showing. Okay, and there's a really helpful top tip here that frequency equals frequency density times class width. Okay, so we learned that in the last tutorial. Use the information in the histogram to copy and complete the following table. So the first bar we've got um, is this rectangle here, and the time it refers to is zero to three minutes. We're, we're actually talking about lengths of 35 phone calls we should we should mention, okay? So what is uh, the, the class width, first of all, is obviously three, and the frequency density, the height of this, in this case on this histogram is two, okay? Now remember that frequency on a histogram is the area of the bar. So that would make sense. It's the class width times by the frequency density in this case. So what we need to be doing is three multiplied by two. So we get six. And the same idea here, let's find the, the, um, the area of this next distinct rectangle that I can spot here. Okay, just that one there. Okay, and please don't think it's four just because it's four squares. Look at this. We've got two being the width, the class width, and the height, frequency density here is four. So what we're going to be doing is two multiplied by four. The area of this one is eight. In the next one, we've got one unit in terms of its class width, and its height here is seven. So one multiplied by seven gives us an area of seven. Six to nine, we've got a class width of three, and it's going up to three. So three multiplied by three is nine. And then the last one's been done for, as we could double check it. It's got a class width of five and a height of one, frequency density of one. So five times one would give us five. Um, and we could double check our answer because we know that in this, um, you know, this survey or whatever it is, there's 35 phone calls. So all of these should add up to 35. Okay, so we've got six plus eight, that's 14. 14 and 7 is 21, add 9 is 30. Yes, they add up to 35. Okay, now the next bit, this is actually um, going back to a previous topic, which is finding an estimate of the mean from a frequency table. Now that's perfect because this is what I've got. In fact, it's, it's, a, it's a grouped frequency table, isn't it? Okay, so the, the trick here actually is to assume that each of these groups, in each of these groups, everybody um, had the, the median or the mean length phone call. So in this group here, we had some people who got just over zero minutes to their phone call. It might have just been a split second. Okay, up to and including three minute phone calls. So we're going to assume the midpoint for everybody in there. So as we said, it's an estimate of the mean. So we're going to put a, a an extra row on the top here and the midpoint here um, the average of zero and three is 1.5 we could of course add them up and divide by two here the average is four here the average is 5.5 here the average is 7.5 and here the average is 11.5 okay so we're assuming we're assuming everybody we don't know the actual data we don't know we don't know the exact Specifics. I mean, it could be that all six of these people had exactly three minute phone calls. We don't know. Okay, but we're assuming the average. So it's going to be an estimate of the mean. So now all we need to do is to add up, okay, sum the midpoint times by the frequency. Add all of those up. Okay, if you don't know what this sign means, it means sum. Okay, and then we just divide by. Um, the total frequency. All right, so what I'm going to do then is 1.5, assuming all of these six people took 1.5 minutes on their phone calls, add um, 4 times 8. I'm going to add on 5.5 times 7. I'm going to add on 7.5 times 9. We're not room, 11.5 times by 5. I'm going to divide that whole thing by 35. Okay, 
So what we're doing is we're, we're adding up an estimate for the total amount of time on these 35 phone calls. Um, and if I put that into my calculator, I actually get 204.5. Check it on yours. You divide that by 35. Okay, so the answer, the estimate for the mean from this grouped frequency table is 5.84 minutes to three significant figures. I just had enough room there to finish off that question. I hope all of that's been nice and clear. Okay, and good luck with the work.